Geologic time scale. Geologic time is that length of time that evolution occurs over, or plate tectonics occur over, star formation. Long, long stretches of years put together. When we read about a thousand years, ten thousand years, a hundred thousand years, a million years, it's way, way beyond what our brain is capable of understanding. We read the numbers, but they're just zeros. So we use analogy, we get a big idea and put it onto a smaller idea. A long time scale into a shorter time scale. So I'm going to use Star Wars as a way to present geologic time. So I linked the new trilogy of Star Wars back to back. The very beginning of the Phantom Menace, the 20th Century Fox logo, is the beginning of Earth 4.5 billion years ago. The very end of Revenge of the Sith is present day time. Four and a half billion years. I decided the end of each film would be the very close until the credits. So, back to back, Star Wars. Six hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. So the opening of the first movie, Phantom Menace, 20th Century Fox, is the birth of Earth. Earth is formed from the dust and debris that makes up the start of our solar system. Fast forward, here we are, we're sitting with Anakin and Obi-Wan and the mother and no one else, no one else is in that scene. This is when the crust and the oceans and the atmosphere first form. No oxygen, but our atmosphere. Gearing up for the pod race. This is when we first see RNA based life, the precursor or the baby version of DNA, the stuff that makes up us. Mace Windu saying we need to unravel the mystery of the Sith. This is where we find the earliest common ancestor to all of life. Up until this point, the Earth is covered in an atmosphere, but it doesn't have any oxygen. <laughs> that stuff. And this is when we see the release of oxygen by photosynthetic organisms into the atmosphere. It's a poison for most other organisms, but it allows and lays the way for us. The date with Palpatine. This is where we find the first origins of multicellular life. Cells grouping together to create communities starting to build multicellular organisms like us. Alright, so Obi-Wan's just fallen down. They're trying to find him, they're trying to hunt him. This is the same time as the Cambrian explosion, 540 million years ago. Any life before this point was sort of sedentary, slow, didn't really do much. This Cambrian explosion is where we see enormous diversity in life. Things start chasing each other, eating each other, hunting each other, biting each other, bones, prey, claws, that stuff. Coming together with Anakin and Obi-Wan for the battle. This is when all the continents on Earth come together into Pangaea, which means all land. Alright, so we're into that lame, ridiculous fight with just CGI battle. Anyway, this is where we have the Permian-Triassic extinction. Forget about the one that killed the dinosaurs. This one wiped out about 90% of all life on Earth. Okay, so Anakin's roasting on the rocks there. This is this far into this movie. This is the first time we see dinosaurs like Stegosaurus. A few minutes later, plants are starting to evolve flowers. Unfortunately, dividing 4.5 billion by the number of seconds in this film means that about each second is just over 200,000 years. That's about how long the human species, Homo sapiens, has been around, 200,000 years. But just know that over the course of all this time, humans as a species are in the last second. But that isn't helpful because that's most of the stuff that we know. So around 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens diverted from their, our most recent common ancestor. Some scientists say 100,000, some say 250,000, some say 200,000. I'm going to go with 200,000. That just says how blurry the line is between our species and our forebears. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down that last 200,000 years, that last second of the film. And in that, we're going to use the original trilogy to represent that 200,000 years using the same system. Now the only problem with using this analogy is that George can't leave well enough alone. I've used the very original version on DVD before special edition, before garbage and nonsense and all that shit that George put in that he didn't need to put on, he could have left it. It was the rock really what made up the new version. Is that your complete vision of what you had to have? You had to have that. So opening, 20th Century Fox is the dawn of Homo sapiens. We have to go all the way to 
past where Obi-Wan's been slain by Darth Vader. This is the dawn of Mitochondrial Eve, the most common ancestor of our species for all of us. Empire Strikes Back. Luke slashes off his head, Darth Vader's head. This is when humans start migrating out of East Africa, down into South Africa, out into Palestine. This is our great leap forward for our species. We start painting in caves, start hunting mammoths. The first humans start migrating into Australia. This is the first time humans move through Siberia, down into the United States. But all the way into the third film, Luke's powers are growing, and we see that human species is growing. We're now up to five million people. The shield of the Death Star is down, and the human species has just domesticated rice. The bridge deflectors are down. They're about to get the windows smashed into them. This is when humans have just built the Great Sphinx. Escaping the exploding Death Star. This is when we see people like Alexander the Great. Celebrations in the Ewok village. This is the Renaissance, Da Vinci, Galileo, Raphael. This is just a few seconds before the end of the film. This was the occurrence of World War II. And we see the ghosts of Obi-Wan and Yoda and old Anakin because he was old and that's when he died when he was old. You don't see Obi-Wan when he was young as a ghost, do you, George? No, he's old. Whew. Okay, so, dear friends, that is the geologic timescale using Star Wars. Now remember, that old trilogy fits all into the very last second of the original trilogy. It gives us a view of our place and how special and unique and fragile we are. We haven't been around that long. Gotta use it wisely.